As you can hear from our noisy pump, we're experiencing a power outage. He's on his way over to work. He goes in at three today. I don't have class and uh, I have no power to create gift tags, to calculate prices, to, to do anything. And my battery is actually at about 15%, so I will begin recording after I charge my phone after the light comes back. Oh my gosh, total vlog fail for today. Let me fix this, but let me show you why I have not wanted to turn my camera on today. It's just been, I actually posted on my Facebook, it was Murphy's Law Home Business Edition. Let me show you. I printed these out. I'm doing some graduation gift options and Father Day's, Father's Day gift options uh, for the coming weeks and I printed out some gift tags like this one. This one's for the graduation gifts. I just got a message right now. And I was cutting them. You can see that the edge is very, it has a nice little design. I was doing that with these craft scissors. You can see it has the edge already there. And as I was cutting, these are pretty old too. I've had them since before I got married and we moved to our first home six years ago. Um, they cracked. And it's not like you can just go in that little space that you see right there, that little dot. Uh, I need to super glue it there and see if it'll stay, if it'll work. So I couldn't cut anymore. Then I decided, well, let me work on the Father's Day gift options then. And I saw these, I did not create them. I mean, I did put this one in particular together, but the idea came from something else I found online. So I'm not taking credit for this, but I put these together. Uh, I'm going to buy some Hershey's bars and put this on them. This is going to be the gift tag for it, but look at the design. You see how the printer is failing? And this was the best printing option. So I went and did um, print head cleaning, you know, that alignment option that you can do. And this is what's going on with my printer. The magenta one is just not working. All the other ones are fine. So I can't print out anything red, orange, brown, anything that needs red color. Trying to move on from my frustration, I said, well, let me then just put together some gift bags and, and then I'll work on the gift tags. And as I was pulling out some of my products, I realized they were cracked. And it's not just the one, it looks like they were defective and I never noticed. They're already out of production, so I can't claim these. It'll just be a loss for my business. I'll file it, file it in my taxes as a loss, but I have less products to work with for the Father's Day gift option. So I said, you know what, I'm getting out of here. 
and I'm gonna go do something else. So for the past maybe two hours or so, I've been going through the stack of papers that I've been seeing for ever that I was gonna deal with here on the dining table. As you can see, I have a little bit of a mess because I'm actually sorting the recyclables, the keep, file, action, etc. I have my little filing system there. I'm gonna finish with that by tonight. And I was also talking to a friend of mine who needed a little bit of distraction. He was very stressed with work, so I was talking with him for a while. And in the meantime, I also got a customer order, so I have to go into my um, business closet and pack up an order for maybe tomorrow. Actually, you know what? I had gone originally to the office to go get my selfie stick and I forgot it and my arm is killing me. Much better. See this way I don't have to extend my arm like this and, and hold it the entire time. Right now it's a quarter to seven and my husband obviously isn't gonna have dinner with me tonight. He's only been at work for maybe three hours. He's gonna be home well after nine, maybe 10 p.m. tonight. So I'm gonna have dinner a little bit later by myself. The doggies already ate, everything is taken care of. So it's really just about this and dinner. Finished dinner a little over an hour ago. And today's really my last day checking my blood sugar. It's been fine. Yesterday was fine. I had a snack and it was fine. I think I need more strips. Yeah, <laughs> last strip. I think I have another bottle though, it's okay. Anyway, just gonna check one final time because it's been pretty good. I decided to do it because I was feeling a little tired, but it is the end of the day. We've been up since seven, I think, and uh, a lot of emotionally draining things happened today. But I just want to double check. I did not tell you this before. My uh, dermatologist's office called that they're still waiting for my doctor to send over my prescription. Definitely changing providers. And my OBGYN's office also called because I informed them of the ele elevated testosterone. They sent over lab orders for me to get some uh, more tests done. And because my husband went into work at three today and they called me around noonish, I think it was, there wasn't enough time for me to drive all the way to the lab and all the way back. Besides, I prefer doing tests when I'm fasting so I get all the better test results. So tomorrow, I get poked again. Ho oh, ho, something's definitely going on. Remember, after a meal, below 140, before a meal, below 100, supposedly 120. 144 after a meal, uh, I don't know. There's something going on with my blood sugar. This just means that tomorrow I'm gonna have to test it again. It definitely seems that when my blood sugar spikes at the wrong times, like you know, before after meals and whatnot, I get sleepy and that's gonna be my indicator about it being either elevated or low, though I don't really get low blood sugar anymore. I used to when I was a kid. Now I gotta make sure that this doesn't go anywhere because I do have two diabetic parents. Diabetes runs on both sides of my family and I'm a little young to be diabetic. Granted, there are children with diabetes, but still, I consider myself too young to have yet another problem. I think I have enough with Crohn's and GERD and elevated testosterone causing hair loss, telogen effluvium, kidney stones, eczema, asthma, the list goes on. To be expected though, people with autoimmune diseases get more autoimmune diseases. Uh, once I got my diagnosis, my doctor uh, compared it to a ring. He said, think of a ring. It snaps off right there. Then that causes other snaps to happen around the ring, meaning you get one autoimmune disease, you get others. Walk with me. I'm gonna get the other uh, little bottle of those little strips. I don't know what they're called. This is the glucometer that we got. Uh, again, this was from Amazon, not sponsored, but this is how it came, just to share with you. There was the glucometer. It brought this and many more of the little needles or lancets, I think they're called. You saw the kit, the little uh, bag thingy. It was included in this, so I didn't have to purchase it separately. Whole bunch of instructions. Trust me, I read everything just like I did with Hair Max. There are very important instructions on how to maintain the machine. And here is the other bottle of test strips. That's what they're called. It brought two of these. 
I just finished that one and I think it lasted about a year. I don't test my sugar very often, so if you do, I do recommend getting this one. I got a hundred test strips between the two boxes. Goodness, these are packed in here tight. Don't think I'm gonna need any of these though. Gonna put this back in my little case. There is a compartment here for the pen. I just don't like how tight it is and every time I have to pull it out and put it back in, it's just so difficult, it's so tight. But it's good for travel. See, it goes right there. It's good for travel though, just not for everyday use. All right, video is exporting. As you can see, I've got my little <laughs> office assistant, I guess, right there. I am hungry and I don't wanna eat anything that'll affect my blood sugar. So I'm gonna test it again, now that it's been quite a few hours after dinner, see where we're at post meal, and then I'll have some fruits or some nuts or something else. It is 10.20, I believe. Let me prop you up. I forgot that new bottles are very tightly sealed. There we go. In about an hour 20 minutes, an hour 30 minutes, it's only gone down 10, whatever this unit of measurement is. Uh, I'm gonna research to see what snacks are good for people with high blood sugar and just stick to that. I found that nuts, oh, and drinking plenty of water is good for lowering blood sugar. So that's exactly what I'm gonna have before bed. Although I feel like I'd be cheating for my blood test tomorrow. Don't know how I feel about that. Okay, here we go. If I remember correctly, the last thing we saw were numbers one through five in writing because we are also practicing consonants, vowels, and we still haven't even covered all of the consonants. Not gonna add any new ones today because they're not used in the numbers, especially the rest of them as we're gonna see six through 10, but let's still review some vowels and consonants. Again, vowels in blue, consonants in red. May have switched up last time, but the point is we're sticking to a color each time we practice. Let's start with our vowels. A, A, O, U, L, and E. Then we have our second derived, Ya, Ya, yo, you, nothing here. Then we have our other vowels that are gonna be combined with e, which would give us e and e. Same thing, second derived, you add a second vertical line, and you have the y added to it. Ye, ye. As for consonants, the letters actually represent movements of the mouth, points of articulation, etc. So remember that when you're thinking of a g, I know this this was a terrible uh, hand gesture to do, but it is the same, it is the same way that it's projected in the letter itself. So we have giot, that's the up and out giot, nian, miem, shiot, iung. If you want the sounds versus the names of the letters, just like in our English alphabet, you have A, B, C, make the sounds A, B, K, or S, right? We have Giyak is the sound G, Nian is the sound N, Miam is the sound M, Siat is the sound S, Yung is the sound N, like Pan in Spanish for the word bread. You, have, you don't say pan, you say pan. Then we looked at some new consonants that derive from these as well, or not derive, but rather are in the same family. Uh, here we have nian with an additional line up here on top, and you've got digat, miam with some lines added here up top too. You got biap and siot with a line going this way, you got jiot. And again, those are the names of the letters. The sounds would be d, b, and j. I believe last time I also introduced the h sound. It's right here. You just add some horizontal lines on top and you got kiot, which is the h sound. Now that we remember our letters, some of them, because we haven't studied the entire alphabet yet, Let's go for my favorite word to practice all of these letters and sounds, Anyang which I mention in the beginning of every video. Except for today, maybe. 
I just realized that because it was a weird day. Vowels in blue, consonants in red. Ah, n, yong, ha, se, yo. Anyong ase yo. This really isn't anything. My dogs are right here below me. This isn't a word that they used in the Korean lesson that I took online to teach anything. It's just my own preference. I like to practice with this. Now let's look at our numbers one through 10, which in all honesty, I cannot remember. Last time we did numbers one through five. I'm not gonna use colors right now because I'm fairly confident that you can follow along by now, but I'm not gonna look at my notes. I'm actually gonna try to write this out by myself without checking, even if I make a mistake. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. You're learning a new language, especially a new writing system, so you gotta get used to it. And like any language that you learn, you say things out loud so you can hear them and then transcribe them into writing. So we know that the first number is Hana. I'm gonna do the ha sound. Ha, na. Number two is Dul. So I'm using the d sound and then u. Oh, and this is the this is one of the consonants that we haven't seen yet. Don't worry about that. So du. I know this one starts with an S. So set set. Ooh, I don't remember if it's this one, but I remember it ends like this. So let me bring this down a little further. Then we have net and oh my gosh, Hana du set net dasot. I think. And if it's dasot, it would be. Oh my gosh, hang on. Da. Oh boy. Ooh, I don't know. Okay, let's see if I wrote this right. Hana is correct. Tur. Oh, I missed something. Okay, I made this mistake. Hang on. Okay, this is what I wrote. I used the wrong vowel. Instead of u, it should be u. Tur. Not t. Tur. Set is correct, net is correct. Oh my gosh, see this is why you have to practice and not always check on your notes. I'm so proud of myself right now. I got dasot right. I'm, I only got this wrong right now. If you're actually doing this along with me, did you get it right too? Did you get close to it? Or are you still completely lost? Please let me know. Now we're gonna go for numbers six through 10. And here, since it's a review, I don't remember from last time, we're gonna go look straight into the notes. Number six is yosot. We have yosot. Please ignore my writing, I always say that. Igo. Igo. Isn't that fun? Yodol. Yo. Yodol. Now see, here's where I get confused when I'm writing. Number nine is aho, right? For me, it would make sense to write a ho, aho, but you don't actually write it this way. You write it like this. Don't ask me, I'm just a learner. Just gotta memorize it that way. Then the last one is very easy. You got yol. That's it. Let's review. Hana. Tul set net dasot yo sot in go yo dol a ho yo. That's it for today. Since we're doing this together, I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna practice off camera tomorrow. I'm gonna set apart some time to practice before I show you because we're doing this together. So tomorrow when we do our next 15 minutes of this stuff, I'm gonna attempt to do the same thing I just did today with numbers one through five. I'm gonna try with numbers six through 10 and I hope you will do the same. I've closed off my videos in front of this board quite a few times and I think I'm gonna do the same right now because as I mentioned, I have my video exporting, just gonna upload it to YouTube, do the writing, the thumbnail, and then that's it. I don't have to do hair max today and my husband will be home at any time. Once again, I'm gonna close off here. Thanks for watching, for your support. Hope you'll stick with me tomorrow and hope you get some nice rest. Stay strong, stay safe, stay healthy.